Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. One of my favorite things that Battleship Missouri here in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii has done is on their pier, they painted out the blast radius of various 16-inch projectiles. So here at my head, you can see where the projectile's impact point would be. And then at my feet, you can see one ring, a dotted line. And way out here, you can see the edge of a second dotted line. So these are the blast radiuses of the two types of projectiles. And there you saw me laying down. Uh, you can see that it's about 10 feet on the inner ring and about 30 feet in the outer ring. So what are the two projectiles here? Believe it or not, the inner ring is the heavier 2,700 pound projectile. The outer ring is the lighter 1,900 pound projectile, which are the ones here. They're about five feet tall and about 1,900 pounds. They've got a 133 and a half pound burster charge inside of them to make them explode. The larger six foot tall 2,700 pound projectile is significantly heavier to punch through an enemy battleship's armor. However, it only has a 35 pound composition D burster charge inside of it. So this can punch through up to 30 feet of reinforced concrete or depending on the range, uh, as much as two feet of battleship armor at point blank range or more likely about a foot to 18 inches at normal battle ranges, depending on the quality of the armor. So once it gets inside, it's got uh, a 0.033 second time delay fuse and traveling at 2400 feet per second that gives it just enough time to punch through an enemy ship's armor protection, get inside the ship and then burst with an explosion like this. It's not gonna do a tremendous amount of damage unless it gets to a vital place like a magazine, which will have a, a secondary explosion. However, the mass of this thing pushing through the armor of an enemy ship, several layers of steel, and then exploding in shrapnel is going to disperse that shrapnel all over uh, the space. And that's gonna to continue to tumble and punch through different armor plates. The high capacity round on the other hand with that 133 and a half pound composition D burster charge uh, explodes on impact against an unarmored target, against a land target that makes an absolutely massive 30 foot wide, 20 foot deep explosion crater. That's roughly the size of a swimming pool or a tennis court. And so you can see how big this blast effect is and check out this footage from the ship's Vietnam deployment of this moonscape that New Jersey's guns have made on the North Vietnamese countryside. Uh, it's absolutely devastating, but because it's a plane doing bomb damage assessment flying overhead, it's really hard to tell just the absolute scale of these projectiles. So imagine how many other people could be standing in this blast radius and this is just what the impact crater would look like. It is throwing shrapnel from that 1900 pound body of the shell out about uh, 50 feet further than this diameter you see here. So an absolutely devastating weapon. So much so that when landing zones were needed in the Vietnam jungle, they would call New Jersey to drop a single shell in the jungle and that would make a clear patch large enough for helicopters to land in. So what do you think? Do the 16 inch 50 caliber guns of the Iowa class battleships do it? Or do you think they should have been armed with larger 18 inch guns? Or do you think this is too much and they could have gotten away with a smaller uh, 14 inch gun? Let us know in the comment section down below if you think this was the appropriate caliber. The Navy sure thought it was for five decades. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. And there's a link in the description down below if you'd like to support Mizora and the work they're doing here in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. You can support Battleship New Jersey by liking, sharing, and subscribing so that more people find out about us and our channel. Also be sure to go to the social media sites and the donate page that we've dropped in the description below for Mizora so you can support them and find out the cool stuff that they're doing here in Pearl Harbor. Thanks for watching.